Today we're going to learn how you can leverage your LDAP or Active Directory users and groups into Big Fix's roles and sites. So with that, let's get moving. If we take a look at any organization, we'll realize that we have a set of servers and we have some desktops. And these are usually have a clear delineation of the users that actually manage these type of systems. Even on our server side, we probably have more than one type of OS. For our example, we're just going to separate these into Linux and Windows servers. Again, denoting that there's different groups that have admin these systems. The desktops probably have multiple OSs, but in our simple example, we're going to keep them managed by one group. What that means to us is we're going to have three distinct groups of admins that monitor and run these systems. Our Linux admins, Windows admins, and our desktop administrators. From a management standpoint, it would be nice if we had a group of Windows admins that when they logged in, they can see and manage the Windows servers and not see the desktops or affect the Linux systems. Having a clear separation of control. And following that, the Linux folks should only see the Linux and the desktop admins should only be able to affect the desktop machines. And most likely in your organization, these groups probably already exist somewhere in your LDAP or your Active Directory system today. So why not leverage these groups to manage your environment within the Big Fix tool itself? This can be accomplished quite easily because Big Fix does integrate with your Active Directory or your LDAP source. And because of this integration, your users can log in via your LDAP or Active Directory, leveraging the existing groups that already exist and mapping those into roles within Big Fix. Inside of the Big Fix tools, you can furthermore create what is called a site, linking your computers or your endpoints up to them so that when users log in properly your Linux and admins can log into the tool and admin their Linux machines the Windows server machines can be separated to the Windows OUs and the desktop servers can also be separated so that you have a complete and autonomous system for managing your environment that's what we're going to show you here today To add Active Directory or an LDAP, go down to the Tools, click on Add LDAP Directory, and here we'll come up with a name. You can name it anything you want. In my case, I'm going to name it BPIC. And then you have a choice of Microsoft Active Directory or a generic LDAP server. In my case, it is a Microsoft Active Directory, so that's what I'll choose. It's also a global catalog server. And now you simply type in the name of your Active Directory server, and you can hit the Test button. It will then validate that it can talk to your server. If you do need to log in with credentials, you can certainly type them in there. In most cases, you do not for generic queries. We've noticed that it worked, so now we can simply hit the Add button. And navigating into Big Fix Console, we go up to the LDAP Directories site. We can see that the BPIC is added. We can see the information on it, that it is a global catalog server. If you have backup servers, you can add them in here as well. We can also see that we can still change if we have to log in as a user or not, or if we can simply log in uh, anonymously to do our queries, which in this case we can. And it shows us some advanced settings. These are usually not needed in your Active Directory hookup, but if you have a generic LDAP, you might have to change some of those. So going over here, we look at some of the operators. We can see the different operators that have already been assigned in our Big Fix server from our LDAP tree, so we know it is working. And again, clicking over on the operator side, we can see we have local and LDAP operators. What we're going to focus on now is actually creating or looking at adding a new LDAP user. So inside of here, if I simply start typing a name and hit the search button, it should query our LDAP or Active Directory server, showing our different accounts in LDAP that we can now add. Best practices, however, dictate that we do everything via a role. So role is kind of like a group. We kind of want these to match our Active Directory or LDAP tree. So for example, I created the role for Windows desktops. I do like the feature of Big Fix's self-documentation. So in the description, I will type why this role was created. So if anybody else comes around, they can self-document and read it. And also notice we have options for when these people that are in this role log in, what are they allowed to do? You have quite a few granular levels of control that you can do. And for example, we might not want them to use the REST API or use the new web UI and only restrict them to the console. So that's what I'll set. The next thing we can do is assign sites. What are they able to see? So clicking the assign site button will bring up our list of sites inside of our big fix environment. And here we can start allowing the users that log in via this role 
access to various sites. So maybe we want to add them to the Windows point of sales and we can hit the assign site there and also let me move the window a little bit. We also, since they'll be dealing with Windows, we want to give them reader ability to the Windows patching site. And then again, over here on the LDAP groups is really where we're making that connection to our Active Directory or LDAP server. So again, up here, we're going to type in a search and I'm going to look for the OU group, security group that I created for the Windows desktops. Here we see that it found the Windows desktops. So I'm going to select it, say assign. Now that I have this, I assigned the sites and I assigned the LDAP user group to this role. Make sure that you come over here and click Save Changes. And now that we have our role, we want to use this as a security mechanism. And inside a big fix, that's doing it to a site. So what exactly is a site? Well, to do this, I'm going to make an analogy. Most people can understand network shares in a Windows environment where I might have multiple shares off my server farm. For example, the finance, human resources, maybe the IT department. And this is where the, these organizations keep their data. They want to make sure the right people get access to the data and those that don't need it do not. So from a desktop standpoint, as a user logs into your LDAP or Active Directory, based on the groups they're in, they may have access to the finance department, for an example, and see financial data. However, if they try to access, let's say, the IT department, they would be denied access because their group membership does not include permissions to access that data. This is exactly what we want to do inside a big fix so that our roles, which are mapping to our OU or Active Directory groups, we can now apply them to what in, inside a big fix is called a site or a network shared folder. So now that we have that analogy, let's go off and do that interactively inside the big fix console. So I'm going to come up over here into the Big Fix console, and I am going to expand the Sites section. And if we notice, we have the Master Action site, we have the External site, and just so you know, the External site is from IBM, and it's everything that was activated from my License Overview. But it's not what I'm looking at here today, but I'm looking at this Custom Sites. Custom Sites are anything that you want it to be. So for example, if we notice, I do not have currently a Windows desktop site. So I am going to go to Tools, and I am going to create a custom site. And it's going to ask me or give me a pop-up for what site I would like to create at this point. And I'm going to try to keep things consistent. Windows desktop. And I'm going to hit OK to this. And I'll even put a 7 in front of there since we're explicitly talking about Windows 7 desktop. So I've just created this new custom site. And now what I want to do is secure this custom site. And for a couple reasons. And again, using the self-documenting tool, Windows 7 site for admin purposes. <clears throat> First of all, go into the computer subscriptions. And the same idea with here is I am going to click on computers that match the condition below. And I'm going to simply come down to the operating system. And it's going to say contains Win 7. That alone inside a big fix is going to map all my Windows 7 machines into this site. Now, <clears throat> who has rights to this? From a role uh, permissions, we can see that some of these other roles that I have in here at the moment actually have no rights. The master operators, of course, always do have rights to this site. So now if you notice, here's my new role of Windows Desktop. It currently has no permissions here. So my choices are to make it a reader, a writer, or owner. So in this particular sense, I'm going to create these folks as an owner of this site and click the Save Changes button so that anybody in this OU group that matches from my LDAP directory tree now has access and is an owner of this Windows desktop site. Now that we saved our changes to the desktop site, we can validate that the permissions are set properly to which people are actually inside of that OU. 
And because we set our subscription, we can see that only the Windows 7 machines have been added to this site. So hopefully you learned something about how to use custom sites, Active Directory, or your LDAP tree, and mapping those OU groups into roles inside of Big Fix to secure your systems and make sure that only proper people can actually be allowed to run and manipulate the sites in question. So make sure you keep your security intact with Big Fix. Uh, uh, uh.